Nolajet here at Tower Pizza. Good stuff in here, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nolajet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, we visit Tower of Pizza for our restaurant review videos to experience their New Orleans pizza and spaghetti with meatballs. Tower of Pizza is located in the New Orleans suburb of Metairie at 2104 Veterans Memorial Boulevard, which is about 13 minutes and 8 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. All they sell here is pizza, spaghetti, and salads. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. Tower of Pizza has a family history of great pizza with their first location opening up back in 1958 and this has been a popular neighborhood pizza joint ever since. Although formerly they had several locations, this is the last one remaining. So let's take a look at the menu now and figure out what we're going to get. So we have the pizza toppings choice with cheese, pepperoni, Canadian bacon, smoked bacon, black olives, anchovies, green peppers, sausage, ground beef, mushrooms, green olives, jalapeno pepper, and onions. And with our pizza prices and sizes, we have a choice of medium or large. And then we have our house specialty pizzas with the vegetarian, the hot and spicy, the tower special, meat eaters delight, and tower supreme. Then we have salads with an Italian toss salad, an artichoke salad, and a lettuce and tomato salad. And then we have a choice with our spaghetti to get just sauce or sauce and meatball. And all of their product is made from 100% pure ingredients. We do not use any substitutes, additives, or stretchers. So, for this meal, I'm going to get a hot and spicy pizza, large, with jalapeno, ground beef, onions, and green peppers, and a spaghetti and meatball. As I've had that in the past, and they've always been fantastic. So, the pizza and the spaghetti and meatballs have always been very consistently great every time I've had it. We've also got our drink menu with soft drinks, bottled water, domestic beer, pitchers of beer, a beat of amber, a beat of pitchers, Heineken, and Amstel Light. All right, my hot and spicy pizzas arrived. So the jalapenos, ground beef, onions, and green peppers smell fantastic. So I think this is the only place I've ever gotten a pair of tongs to retrieve my pizza instead of one of those triangular pizza spatula servers. But hey, it still works. And the pizza's nice, ooey gooey and cheesy. It's got great flavors. It's nice, hot crust. It's got a good little crunch to it. And it's uh, definitely a good combination of crunchiness and softness where it needs to be. Lots of good textures going on with all the pizza dough and it's really holding up well to each and every bite I've got on it. So it's got enough firmness yet enough softness and you can see there's some good bubbling in the dough there giving it a little airiness here and there but it's definitely got a great crunch to it when I bite in. So it's uh, got that perfect contrast of having crunchiness with a little softness that I really enjoy and it's holding everything together excellently. So. The pie is strong enough to maintain structural integrity. It doesn't flop all over the place. So it's firm enough to hold everything on here while at the same time having a nice soft interior with that crunchy crust exterior that makes for an overall good slice of pizza. Woohoo, this thing's gone down very fast. So this has been a very pleasant experience and I really, really like the extra crunchiness of the crunchy crust end here. It's like, ooh, each bite's got some nice crispy crackery style outside and just has a pleasant crunch to it with every bite. But then the interior's got a nice little soft bit to it that makes it just an enjoyable feel to the mouth. All right, it's time for the spaghetti and meatballs. These are really some generous sized meatballs. Ooh, yeah, look at here. Mm. You gotta slice them. They're too big to eat whole, so. Look at there, even the half meatball is a little large, and oh, I got it in my mouth, but it was not easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice the other half a little more, because that is definitely a mouthful of just half of the meatball. So here we go, this will be a little easier bite on me. So this uh, definitely got really nice flavors to it. They spiced it up well, and the sauce is very nice on here. The red gravy has a nice thick consistency, but it's still able to get on the noodles. And the noodles are cooked perfectly al dente. And ooh, 
gonna go. Oh yes, so the noodles and the red gravy together make for a very delicious combination. And then of course, you can't go wrong with the addition of a meatball in the mix either. So this is certainly an enjoyable spaghetti and meatballs. Tower of Pizza is consistently rated as one of the top places in the whole area for great spaghetti and meatballs, along with lots of people always saying the Tower of Pizza is their definite favorite pizza in the area. Of course, there's always a whole lot of disagreement these days around what's the best. So we'll just say this is one of the top spots for a lot of people. So we're not going to say this is the overall best, but it's pretty darn good in the upper echelon of what we can get in the area. Ooh, but I do love the meatballs. And uh, the pasta is also pretty darn well done as well. I really love the fact that the red gravy is thick enough that there's not any runny wateriness going down in the bottom of a plate. It's sticking to the noodles, and so that really makes the pasta a lot more enjoyable to eat. There's not just drippy red sauce going all over the place. This sauce really sticks to the meatballs and sticks to the pasta. So that really makes it for a much neater and more enjoyable eating experience that I greatly appreciate here. So they've done a really good job of getting the textures and thickness and consistency of things really honed here. So this is a perfectly prepared dish. You can tell they've been making this for many years, so they don't do a lot of different choices here, but they certainly do an excellent job of the limited things that they do prepare here. And it's like, wow, I mean, this sauce is still nice and thick even after all the other items I've eaten and all the multiple, multiple pieces of meatball juices that have been running in here. So they have some kind of very special cooking magic that they've made all this delicious food with. But of course, it's time for another slice of pizza. Yes. I'm really full, but there's all this sauce down here I've got to use. So what better thing to do than combine the pizza with the spaghetti sauce. Here we go. Extra red gravy on my pizza. We're going to combine the dishes for an extra kick up of flavor. And oh, yeah. I am enjoying this. This is a great idea. If you haven't tried this before, this is the best of both worlds. So, ooh, little red gravy, extra from the spaghetti on top of my pizza with all the other stuff on here. So this is a great way to polish off all this delicious sauce along with adding a little extra kick up to the pizza. So, mmm. I wonder why I've never tried this before. I can't believe I've only now gotten around to trying both of these at the same time. Usually I get one or the other. I've never gotten both the pizza and the spaghetti all at the same time. I usually do one or the other. So uh, this is a first for me doing both and uh, mm, definitely need to get more of the red gravy sauce for future pizza experiences because uh, I do like to dip a little crust in the sauce. It, uh, maintains good crunchiness even with the sauce on there that's just a little extra flavor to me and um mm, oh yes this is uh, definitely a pleasant experience combining all of those flavors so i can't believe i'm almost uh, done with another slice of pizza this stuff has gone down very fast and uh this sauce definitely is still sticking to the plate there's still a little bit of it left this has definitely been a gift that keeps on giving, and I've really enjoyed it. Ooh, I spilled a little over the side of the plate. I'm going to be a little, a little sad about that, but mmm. So just like I've destroyed this pasta and the pizza, go ahead and destroy the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this delicious meal. And while you're down there, would you kindly check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips, and I appreciate any assistance with that. So the check arrived and the total was $27.30 before tip and that was a lot of food. So thanks so much to everybody at Tower of Pizza for many years of fantastic pasta and pizza. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolajet channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you would so kindly remember to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it. And tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people.
Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nola Jet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.